We need to be here to spread the good word of trekking poles. Trekking poles. Let's dive into it. Should you use trekking poles? Should you not use trekking poles? That is the question. Trekking poles are one of the most useful things that you can have. Very efficient. You would think that they're extra weight to bring along, but they're, they're not at all. Trekking poles are really useful. It's like having four wheel drive. It's like being a dog. Have you ever seen a dog like climb up a little mountain and you look like you're just suffering with your two feet? Well, <laughs> these trekking poles make you climb like a dog. I went to hike Mount Whitney which is the tallest mountain in the continental United States, like the lower 48s, just over 14,000 feet, 14,500. And I did not hike with trekking poles prior to that trip, but a buddy recommended it. He had an extra pair, gave me some trekking poles. Thank you, Backcountry Bob. And I absolutely could not have done that hike without them. Well, I could have, but big bonus to trekking poles. Now, trekking poles are really, really simple and we've been using hiking sticks or like finding sticks and carving them since we were kids, but they've come a long way and these are high tech and they're lightweight. I wanted to buy some trekking poles, found a local store in Ketchum, Idaho. They only had really premium backcountry black diamond trekking poles. They were a specific size and not having really trekked with poles a lot, I didn't know what I was gonna feel comfortable with. I mean, you're supposed to do it at a 90 degree angle, but you have uphills, you have downhills. If you're on a steep slope going down, you might wanna hold them a little differently and maybe have a little bit of a longer pole. Also, I wanted the flexibility of being able to use this as a lightweight backpacking tent post. And I wanted to be able to give these poles to somebody else, adjust them really quick and have them work. I can hand these to my wife, my brother. Um, Shaquille O'Neal could use these. You can't mess with perfection, but you can moisturize it. For example, we went hiking with our friend. She's really afraid of heights. We got on this icy slope and I just gave her these poles, set them up to her size, and she was able to stabilize herself and feel a lot more comfortable. That's why I buy adjustable poles. Then it was the mission not to spend $180 on black diamond poles. I thought that was a little ridiculous, especially if I didn't know what direction I was going in and I didn't want to be stuck without the versatility of an adjustable pole. So I did some research and I found Foxelli. They have a pretty good brand of stuff that's really affordable. They sell a lot on Amazon and there's a lot of really good reviews of these poles. These are carbon. They are similar in weight to Black Diamond. I honestly, I don't think you'd be able to count the ounces to tell the difference in these being less than $80. <laughs> um, they may have been 60 bucks. I will put the link in the description below so you know. But full carbon, they have a cork handle. There's a nice rubber top. The straps work and adjust really well. There's even a rubber handle below the cork so that if you are climbing uphill for a short stint and don't want to readjust or anything, it's there. They have a lot of different adapters so this is for snow. Obviously it has a bigger circumference to catch in the snow than the hiking ones. There's rubber stopper for this that you can put on it, which I'll probably never use. Um, but it's basically the two boots that I'm gonna use for these. I would use these for skiing too. You can adjust the tension. So some people say, oh, like collapsible poles are risky if you're gonna lean a lot of weight on these. Not so, like 
you can tighten this little screw here and have this wrench down really tight. And that this thing ain't going anywhere. Like I could, I could put all my weight on this. I've hopped across streams with it. Um, it's pretty fail proof, I think, in my experience. Um, and Foxelli stands by their gear too. So you have a problem, you can reach out to them and they'll help you out. So affordable price with the functionality that I was looking for, still relatively lightweight, and I can use them for all seasons. If you have another recommendation that I should try out, please let me know. But if it is twice the price and doesn't really offer that much more, I don't know if I'll go for it. Some cons of this, there have been some variation of rubbing between the seam between the rubber and the cork here. And if you're on that same spot um, for a 12 hour day or a long, long hike, which I have been, um, that seam can be kind of annoying if it's not perfectly flush. I had to adjust these straps once because I had really th thick winter gloves in here and it was even pretty simple to adjust with gloves. So overall, a solid pair of trekking poles. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Outdoor Goyo, out.